Hey, so today I want to show you something really cool, which is the ability for Notion AI to write an entire blog post and within 10 seconds have that live on your website. So literally we're talking about idea to writing a blog post to having it published and read by your users in under a minute. Uh, if that sounds cool to you, let me show you exactly what it looks like in a demo and then we'll come back and show you how you can do it yourself. Okay, so for this example, I've already hooked it up to WhaleSync and I've got my Notion page and this is a Webflow site, but here is the live site, right? And right now, because we got nothing in the Notion page, this is a blank blog post. We can now come into Notion and let's go ahead and enter so the AI can write for us and let's do write a blog post about the top five tips for content marketers. And boom, Notion AI is gonna write this for us with different sections. Uh, pretty amazingly, right? It's just gonna go ahead and pop in all this information. So let's let this finish up and let's just accept it for now. We can go back and edit it. If we come back over to Webflow and refresh the page, there we go, instantly. We've got a blog post live on our site. Um, this is pretty nuts. We can even come back over to Notion and let's add a couple things. When we grab an image, let's do unsplash. So when we go ahead and grab one here and we'll search for content marketing. Oh no. Um, yeah, there we go. So we got an image, know your audience, maybe do another one. So let's do another unsplash image here. Uh, audience. And maybe this one, we'll do a calendar. You'll get the idea. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, we can upload one too. Why don't we upload instead of doing that? We'll just pop well sync in here for fun. These will all come in. We can also do, let's do a couple other one cool things. Let's do, what else is interesting? Headings, we know that works. Let's do a quote. So let's do the best content is no content. Albert Einstein. Not a true quote, but let's put that there for now. We can go ahead and refresh on the other side. And we got our quote, <laughs> we've got our images. Um, again, this is all done in, what, a minute? Um, Notion lets us write the content with AI, use all the nice things that we're used to in Notion, comments, editing, different blocks, and Webflow lets us publish it. And so we can create beautiful, blog posts that have the power of Notion behind it. So now that you've seen how this works, let me walk through how to set it up. It really is pretty much just as easy as using it. So hopefully you'll be excited about how this all comes together. Okay, so to set this all up, we're gonna need three tools. We'll start with Notion. And if you're not familiar with Notion, all you need to do is create what they call a database. And so this database is gonna serve as uh, the place that we're gonna put all of our blog content. So here I've got a my blog database. I've got one record, just an example, two fields, the name of the blog post and the image. Uh, you can add more for authors, publish date, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but this is all you really need to get started. Uh, then we're going to need a Webflow site. So you can use a template here to just get things going. Whatever you use in Webflow, you're just gonna need to go to their collections and create a collection called blog posts. And so here we want to make sure if we go into the settings for this collection, that it has some of the fields that we want. Again, in the future, you can add things like categories and authors and whether it's featured. For now, the key things that we need are a name, a main image, which is that image field from Notion and a post body. So a rich text field that can take the content that we're going to write in Notion. Once that is set up, we can go to our blog post page over in Webflow. So blog posts template like this. Right now this is empty, right? We've got no posts, that is fine. So now that Notion and Webflow are both set up, let's go over to WhaleSync. WhaleSync is what is powering this setup. It is basically taking the content that is in Notion and syncing it constantly with Webflow so that you can write in Notion or have AI write in Notion and have that instantly show up on your site. 
So in well sync, we're going to go ahead and create a new base. Let's authorize first notion. Let's just give it access to that database that we just talked about. So my blog, I've already done it before. So we're good. We'll allow access. And now we are connected to notion. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for Webflow. We'll authorize and our site is called PSEO. So we can just go ahead and authorize that. So we're now connected to Notion and Webflow. Let's map these tables. Um, in Notion, the table is the same thing as a database. So our my blog database is the one we want. Over in Webflow, it's the blog posts uh, table that we want to connect to. And let's just do one way sync. So the Notion is flowing into Webflow. Once we've connected our tables, let's do the same thing with the fields. I mentioned name and image and kind of showed those before. These are right, are just gonna map right across. And then we're just gonna to wanna to add one more field, which is that page content field. So you'll notice right here, it is a rich text field that is going to work with our rich text field over in Webflow. And we're good. Let's save, let's turn sync on. And basically it'll take about a minute or so for whale sync to initialize, uh, essentially picking up the fields and tables that we just mapped. And then one update remaining, you'll see that first record that we put in Notion start to sync. And there we go. We can come back over to Webflow and let's refresh. And there we go. Instantly things are synced. Now that it's really easy to connect Notion to your live blog post, let's just talk a little bit about Notion AI and some of the things that we can do to take advantage of just how powerful it is. What Notion AI is really good at, and again, when I say Notion AI, this is using GPT-3. It is similar to using, again, ChatGPT or any of these kind of AI writing tools. What it's really great at is not writing an entire blog post for you and then you never touch it. You're going to get really, really non-unique content that's not going to do that well for you. And what it's really good at though is either editing your content or giving you ideas um, about what you can write or expand on. And so this is a great example of top five tips for content marketers. Imagine we had already written this post. What we can do is use AI here and say, um, add a summary of this post to the top this page. And great. So now we've got a summary. We can add a little section like this. Let's do an H3 TLDR, right? And now, boom, summary added. Another nice thing to do here, let's add a section and say, explain the know your audience section um, to a five-year-old. Oops. And we don't want, we want this to be uh, ask AI. So let's do it like that. Right. And so now it's re rewritten the section like this and we can do something like this, this section simplified. All right. And maybe we do a little emoji uh, idea. Uh, bulb. I think we'll come up with that. Nope. Light <laughs> lightning. How about that? There we go. Boom. Right. So these are nice little things we can do to help edit our content. A conclusion, let's maybe do uh, ask AI. Yeah, even just tells you make this longer. And we'll do one more, which is once this is done writing. So we've now added sort of a longer conclusion here. This is great. Replace. Perfect. And then one more is maybe this section is a little bit too verbose. Why don't we change the tone? and make this a little more casual. And hey there, perfect. A little more casual, perfect. Um, replace. And there you go. So hopefully you get an idea of just how powerful Notion AI can be when you're hooking this up to a live blog post. You can also comment and collaborate with your team on this, but let's go ahead and refresh. Um, but with just a few little AI tweaks, we've now added a TLDR section We've added a little simplified version. We've optimized things to be a little more casual. We've expanded the conclusion. This is the power of AI content when it really is this seamless. You don't need to copy and paste it between ChatGPT and your Notion page. 
you don't need to bring this in from some other tool or hook up some crazy complicated uh, set of automations. It is literally live in Webflow as soon as you want it to be. And that is pretty darn cool. So I hope you enjoyed, hope you've taken something you can use for your content marketing team. And if you're interested in using WellSync to power your Notion to Webflow blog, let us know. We're always happy to hear from other people.